Welcome back. Pastor Dave, a child needs blank spiritually. How would you answer that question? A child needs what? Well, it's a large blank. Uh, it's more than one word to fill in the blank. I, I think that a child needs more than anything parents who totally trust the Lord and rely upon Him for all of their needs in every way, spiritually, physically, emotionally, all of those areas. And that would be a some of the child's greatest spiritual needs is the spiritual well-being of that child's parents. Parents, obviously. Okay. Yes. Okay. And that, that is primarily because a child is going to grow up uh, in the atmosphere of the home. Yeah. Uh, children, more than anything, want to be just like their parents, and in many cases end up just like their parents. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes it's uh -oh. not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> but for the Christian, I would think, uh, I, I would think a parent's greatest desire for their child would be that they would grow in the love and the admonition of the Lord. And, it, and to do so, you have to be taught every day. You have to, uh, uh, children are so observant, they, they don't miss a thing. And so uh, it's not just in what the parents say to their children that's important, it's what their parents live in front of their child that's okay. important. And, and it's going to be obvious in a home, the atmosphere, the, the dialogue, conversation, all of that is going to be obvious to a child uh, if, if, if the Lord is part of that relationship, part of the environment, part of the, uh, it, the parents are cognizant, are, are very much aware of their, their reliance on the Lord and they make him very much a, a, an obvious part of, wow. their, of their lives sure. in discussions, in prayer, uh, all of that. And, okay. and the child sees that and observes it and uh, that's a, uh, we lead by example and they learn by watching. So Dave, tell me, you use the word totally trust God. Uh, there must be something behind that. What do you mean? It means that uh, to the parents, every aspect of their life, their physical life, their emotional life, uh, spiritual life, every aspect of their life is totally dependent on the Lord for direction, for strength, for joy, for peace, mm -hmm. all of those things every aspect of their life they look to him to supply those needs wow then um, that sounds like a uh, that sounds like a a growing uh, deep walk with god it is okay indeed. it is indeed <laughs> uh, so their walk with god growing deeper and deeper in trust deeper in love gives spiritual benefits to their children. Now help unpack that for me. What are some of the benefits of the, fa the parent's spirituality to a child? Well, for one thing, probably the most important thing, is the child grows up in a secure environment. Okay. Security. Security. So what do you mean by security? Parents who are actively praying together, uh, praying over their child, uh, discussing their, their issues, discussing their problems, humbling themselves, uh, willing to make mistakes, asking for forgiveness, all uh -huh. of these things, looking to the Lord. And, and you realize, even as you've, as you, as you've said, Roger, that uh, uh, it's a growing experience. And even, even as parents, we're growing. We're, par we're growing in our relationship with the Lord. We're growing as parents in learning how to be a, a successful parent. Uh, we're growing as, as, as husband and wives, even, even if we've been married 25 years, we're still growing in that relationship. But to do it freely and humbly before the Lord, uh, openly confessing our need and reliance on Him, provides a secure, wonderful environment for the yeah. child. Number one, uh, they feel safe. Number two, if they make a mistake, they don't believe God's going to whomp on them. They believe that, uh, you know, they, they'll, they'll know what forgiveness is yeah. and they'll know what it is to, to be blessed and to be picked up and to be given a second chance yeah. and to be loved unconditionally, which is huge. Yeah, and Dave, I think that's one of the reasons why we have, studies have shown in terms of a child's spiritual formation, the most important year of it all is not necessarily that year when they make their public profession of faith. The most important year is from birth to age one because they are getting themselves ready to receive love.
yes. as God loved them. Yes. And that's the foundation upon which he works to develop that relationship with his Heavenly absolutely, Father. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, a child is going to flourish in a home that is filled with agape, unconditional God love. Okay. Yes. So parents totally trusting God will give a child security. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what's the second thing? The second thing is that parents should lead by example. It's very, very oh. easy to, to say something and to say, well, this is what the Bible says about this. Uh -huh. It's another thing to do it. Uh, the word says, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Children know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so do spouses. <laughs> you know, they, they know the pastors difference. pastors know. That, that's very, very true. And so I think it's, that, that's a matter of integrity uh -huh. uh, between the parents and God. Uh, to, to, to do what the Lord says. And the child is learning, particularly in those early, early ages, um, to mimic and to pattern themselves Absolutely. out of the actions they see their parents do. Yes. yes. So a parent trusting God is going to display actions that give a child a model, an example. Exactly. Excellent. Right. What's the third thing? Uh, parents totally trusting God will give a child? Well, I believe that it's, it's, it's where you end up. It's, it's, it's the destination. It's where you end up with the child. That one day, and you know, that depends on God and the child. Yeah. Uh, my wife sat down with her mother uh, in a wonderful Mennonite family down in Kansas. She uh, asked her mom, uh, she wanted to ask Jesus into her heart when she was four years old, and she vividly remembers it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is that point where the child realizes that God loves them, that Jesus died for them, and what that means to them. That they, they repent of their sins, they ask for forgiveness, and they ask the Lord to come into their lives in a meaningful way. And, and I think that's, that's what every child needs. And, mm -hmm. and as a parent, there's no greater joy than to, than to see your child give their life and their heart to Jesus Christ and follow Him. Yeah. So, even from infancy, um, uh, we're active in helping that baby grow up to the fullness that God wants that person to have in Christ. And, um, that will culminate at a profession of faith and continue to grow throughout their lives. Absolutely. But at the very beginning, and even focused around this baby dedication, uh, we are preparing ourselves to bring that child through that life of growth. Absolutely. When, uh, when uh, we became pregnant with our first child, Melissa, uh, we, we prayed, I prayed over my wife every evening before we went to bed. We, uh, we even then, we're dedicating that little little life inside mm -hmm. of her to the Lord and to His purposes. Tenderly and when, when she was born, uh, from the day she was born on, we prayed for her eventual spouse. We didn't know who he was, mm -hmm. but we knew God knew. And we knew that the, the, the Word of God says that the steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. And so we prayed for her salvation. We prayed that she would be used mightily of the Lord. We prayed for her spouse. and. Uh, and I, I believe there's power in that. I had, a, I had a praying grandmother who died when I was uh, about a year and a half years old, but I know that her prayers for my father and for his children uh, were laid up before the Lord for years and years and years Absolutely. and years to follow. Absolutely. And that I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm here as a follower of Jesus Christ largely before, because I had a godly grandmother who believed in the power of prayer and believed in the power of blessing. Wonderful. Yeah. Pastor Dave, thank you so much. That's inspiring <laughs> and informative. So let's talk about it now in your small group. What spiritual blessing would you like to give your child in terms of security or an example, a destination? Uh, any of these aspects uh, can resonate with you? Uh, why don't you talk about what you would like to especially give your child spiritually? through your walk with the Lord as well. Uh, let's discuss that now. 